Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Olu33 and in this video today, it's like old times, we're going to do a mega breakdown of the GTA 5 heists trailer. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you find it useful, informative, entertaining, or you got your own comments, let me know down in the comments section. But without further ado, I'm going to show you the trailer and then we're going to get straight in to this mega breakdown. Here we go, folks. I know you've been complaining, but you weren't ready. We need a crew to take a score. All right, first thing's a plane. Then we got a bus. We got the inmate transfer schedule, and that's a two-person job. You sure they're not following you? Require a little bit of finesse. Simple. Should be the easiest money you'll ever make. Okay, so let's get started. I'm really excited to break this down. Some lots of cool stuff to show you guys. So starting us off here, we can see that we are looking at a high. So there's lots of police vehicles checking out this bank here. And I wonder why. It's because a few frames later, we see some guys uh, taking some monies with some new masks. And we're going to see the first two members of this heist crew. Uh, there's four in total in this video, which I'm assuming means uh, you're going to see four players for each heist, uh, which is a mission type thing. Uh, we haven't seen any more than that, so I can just assume that hoist full player, although I'm not, it's not 100% confirmed at this time. But I'll let you guys know if we hear anything uh, also in the comment section as well. So this right here was a beautiful troll on just everyone in the community, including me. Lester goes out of his way and he's like pointing at this guy, which is pointing at us essentially. And he's like, look, I know you've been wanting this for ages, but you just weren't ready. And uh, he's obviously talking about heist, and yeah, it was just so funny. I've never seen a trailer reference its community and still be like really funny and excellent. So bravo, Rockstar Games. That was freaking hilarious. So yeah, that's Lester for you. So first sneak peek at a heist right here. So you can see we've got a helicopter with a chap on the side. We've got two jet skis and they're approaching what is the boat that we saw in the main campaign. And it's pretty interesting, actually, because a few frames later, we see two chaps. Oh, we've actually got two chaps here. Get out. Sorry, I jumped ahead a bit there. Uh, we've got two guys jump out. You can see the jacuzzi, which you saw back here, which is obviously right next to the helicopter that you can see right now in the frame. Um, so you see the two guys on the boat now. So they've got off the jet ski. They've got on the boat. You can see the helicopter in the background, and they're now taking over the boat. And also, there's some more evidence for you that this is of course a boat in case you were a little bit worried now this is obviously the heist planning room and originally we weren't sure where this is going to be where it was going to be in lester's house or a separate just secret location um judging by this frame it's going to be in your apartment which a lot of people have speculated is including myself uh, the reason why i know it's there is because it's actually in this frame it says, behind Lester, it says, let's just get in there. It says, come back to the apartment to plan the score. So they're obviously in the apartment right now, just because of the tense and the way it's written. So come back to the apartment. So that kind of makes a lot of sense that the heist room would be in your apartment. That There's a door that you can't get into. And now we know why. It's because it's the heist room. So here are your four characters we've got. The guy at the back there with the uh, bald head, we've got the guy with the crazy haircut, we've got whatever guy at the front, and then we've got the crazy bitch at the back, which throughout the video is scary, and I'll explain to you guys why this woman scares me to no end. <laughs> just, just look out throughout this video, it'd be funny, it's like a running joke, if you will, but um, yeah, this is the heist room. So, first of all, first awesome vehicle that we've seen. We've also got a couple of more awesome vehicles in the background as well. But I'm going to talk about the helicopter to start things off today. The helicopter looks 
freaking amazing. And it looks like the helicopter, the Hunter, I believe it was called, from San Andres, although I'm not entirely sure on that. Correct me if I'm wrong, I probably am, because, hey, I'm a noob. Uh, but in the background, you can see our first look at armored vehicles. You can't see them very well, so I'll show you them and talk about them later on in the video. Um, but what you can see is if you look at the rotor blades on the helicopter, the top one, uh, you can see the little, like, the very highest point. You can see a little person there. Just on the mountain, just if you look directly in the middle of the helicopter, there's a little person stood there, which a few frames later is going to be firing an RPG at the two vehicles and the two people down on the ground. So, uh, yeah, that's that scene decrypted, if you like. Um, you've got the same four people here. New, scary, weird-ass mask. You've got the bald guy, the crazy bitch down on the front. Uh, the other guy, <laughs> we'll call him the other guy. Uh, on the right and the crazy haircut guy on the left. So there we go, same four people. Now they're using a tool here and also using their new mask. Hello sir, you look very weird there. Um, now I imagine it's going to be very much like the normal campaign for GTA 5 in that you're going to be doing a lot of little missions and then the big heist. So you're going to be running up, finding tools like this one, the masks or, you know, in a minute you're going to be seeing we have to go and collect like a plane and a bus, but I'll show you that in a second. Um, before doing the actual heist. So this potentially is one of the missions that we're going to be seeing. So he's drilling into the bank. You can see a CCTV camera perspective of the door opening, which I imagine I'll explain a little bit later has something to do with the woman hacking. But I don't know. That's speculation. I'll show you that a little bit later. Now, this is really cool. And actually, it's really easy to miss in the trailer. And I imagine some of you did. So this is an armored vehicle here. It's a sports vehicle that has been armored up, if you like. It's got like, you know the Duke in the next generation version of GTA 5 has like letterboxing. Um, so it has like just armor and a very thin window. That's what this has. So it has letterboxing, you can see it on the side. And moments later, you see it being pulled up by the good old fashioned cargo bob, which never fails to amuse me. So yeah, that's awesome. Now. Next mission is a police corruption mission, I believe. So there's a couple of clues to this. One, you can see there's four things to do here. And also in the trailer, it says something about, yes, we need to get the inmates swapped around or something along those lines. And also there's a pretty cool little thing that I only just noticed recently. So anyway, I'm talking about stuff and not showing you anything. So first of all, the guy says we've got four things to do. So you can see the plane, the bus, uh, a building which is not entirely clear. Uh, which looks like the police station, if I'm not wrong, and something along the bottom, which I imagine is assassinate or just f find someone. It says to silence there next to his arm. So I'm not entirely sure what that means. So there's the plane. There's the bus with a really creepy mask. Look at that mask on the left-hand side. That is genuinely quite scary. And then here we go. These two chaps right here are actually our favorite chaps from... Do. Right here, so we've got the guy with the weird haircut and the bald guy. You can see from their haircuts, when we go forward in time, bus, here we go. So we've got the weird haircut, and we've got the five o'clock shadow with the, or, well, you know, groomed stubble, I should call it, with the bald guy. Um, so there we go. There is those two guys there, and also there's another shot of them there. Originally, I only worked it out from this thing. I noticed the guy's uh, five o'clock shadow, and then obviously he's right there. So, yeah, that's when I first watched it out. And I watched it back again. I was like, oh, the other guy's there as well. So there we go. There's uh, some inside job going on there. So there we go. A little uh, bike chase. I can't find anything in this scene, although I'm sure there is some clues here other than the masks. Uh, it looks like just a police chase at this point in time going past Vinewood Tours. And that is a really grim, scary screenshot. That is really, really cool. I'd like to know whether they did that on purpose, but who knows. Uh, it looks really cool anyway. So, yeah, we got Ron, our good friend. The crazy bitch who looks like she's about to kill Ron. And obviously the guy with the crazy haircut on the right-hand side. Now, this scene is really cool. It's actually really fun to kind of break down. So you can see there's a train on the left-hand side and two armored vehicles, which are new in this scene and the ones we saw at the start of the video which looked really cool. One of them's got a gun mounted on the top and the other one doesn't. There's also a helicopter in the sky. Now, a few frames later, we're going to see the same scene from a different angle. So there's a train on the left-hand side now. There's the helicopter and obviously the two vehicles with a gun on the front one and a gun not on the second one in from behind. So there we go. They're shooting. And these vehicles look amazing. <laughs> they look like they're just so cool. They look really good. So this was the hacking I was talking about. 
um, all the way back. Let's see if I can find it. Do 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 here. So I suspect, and I'm probably wrong because I'm. It's just a trailer. Who knows? Um, but I reckon this scene here has something to do with this, or it has something to do with. Uh, I think I already showed you, which is I'm jumping all over the place like a good one. Okay, so here it is, and this made my jaw just go, oh, what the f***? It was just like, whoa, aircraft carrier in GTA V. Like, what? That is ridiculous. So you can see there's like a speedboat here, which, you know, whatever. We've seen them before, but it's still new, so it's worth pointing out. <laughs> obviously, the aircraft carrier, which looks amazing. And then we see, obviously, it's an aircraft carrier. There are aircrafts taking off, so... um yeah, and then we get to see this beautiful beast, which I think most of you creamed your pants when you saw it. It is a Hydra from the previous games. And, um, yeah, enough said. That's all I need to say. I don't need to break that down anymore. The only thing I will say about this scene is this gives you a really good perspective of where you are. Where you are. So on the left-hand side, you can see the airport. And in the middle, you can see the main map building just above the Hydra. So we're on the east side of Los Santos. In case, you know, it might randomly turn up, we can go and have a little investigation when the heists come out. But, um, yeah, that's where we are. So, that's all good. And here is another interesting section. So, this um, puts me to rest about the rankings. That I, I thought that heist would be restricted to people that weren't a certain level. I thought that, like, maybe you got to be level 200 or 300 or 100 or 50... Um, but it actually turns out they haven't done that. The reason why I know this is because in the middle, they've got all the four players who are level 50, 157, 73, and 109. And so that's really reassuring and cool. Because I know a lot of my subscribers that I play with, not all of them are level 100. I think I'm like 98 or something along those lines. So I'm not even at level 100 yet. Um, just because I muck around and I don't really grind RP like some people. And like I play the game quite casually, so... Um, that's really reassuring. Really now, the interesting thing about this scene, apart from that, is the take. Now, the really funny thing is, you can see there's like, the reward is quite a lot, which is near, close to 700,000, but it's divided up really randomly. So it looks like player one has like almost a half or like a third, and then the other players share like a half or like two thirds between them. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Looking forward to doing some heists and going, no, 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 no. You shall not get 50%. You shall get 2%. Moha. So, yeah, that's that's kind of cool. So we've got some more action shots here of... Uh, I don't think any of these are actually the Hydra, judging by the aircraft. Uh, they look like the old military jet, but still, that's a cool scene. You can see they're actually saying that, the Hydra right there on the left-hand side and the one we actually know at the moment in the middle and uh, obviously the aircraft carrier at the back but that's a really cool picture right there that's a really nice screenshot um so now we're at a like a night vision thing these guys are sneaking in they're beating up that guy who has some pretty cool night vision goggles which is pretty cool it'd be interesting to see whether or not we can get these for ourselves um i imagine we can purely because we can see them uh wearing them and also we're looking at this scene through night vision so that functionality is obviously there somewhere uh, now, he sticks a USB stick in the computer a few times and then corrupts the world. I don't know what he's doing. And uh, he fires a flare gun at what looks like an armoured army helicopter, which I haven't seen before, which looks really, really cool. And I think that is the Humane Labs right there in the background. Not entirely sure, though. I need to go check that out. So, yeah, there we go. It looks pretty solid. Um, they jump out of a parachute and that's kind of the end of the trailer. I'm really looking forward to GT Online Heist. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you guys got in the comment section of this video and let me know whether or not you're excited about it. Um, but yeah, really appreciate you checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, my name's Ollie 43 and I'll see you next time for another video. Take care. Bye-bye. I know you've been complaining, but you weren't ready. You need crew to take a score. All right, first thing's a plane. Then we got a bus. We got the inmate transfer schedule, and that's a two-person job. You sure they're not following you? It's gonna require bit of finesse. Simple.
should be the easiest money you'll ever make. 